Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you how to create this zoom out effect like in this video. For your Instagram Reels or TikToks in Final Cut Pro. Okay, so I've already got the video and the audio in the timeline. And as you can see, without the zoom out effect, without that reveal, the video is just, just absolutely boring. So the easiest and simplest way to create this effect is by creating keyframes. If you're not familiar with keyframes, they allow you to create specific edits or changes at specific points and times within your clips. So the first thing I like to do to set up keyframes is right click the clip, go to show video animation, and this allows you to visualize all of your keyframes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the beginning of the clip. To create that zoom out effect, first we need to zoom in at the beginning of the clip. So I'm at the beginning of the clip. We're gonna go up to scale. This allows you to zoom in. I'm gonna to go to the right, this little diamond with the plus sign in the middle of it. I'm gonna select that. That initiates the first keyframe. You can see here this little diamond right there. And I am gonna go and set the scale from 100 to 140%. I played with it and I think this works well with this video. Now I'm gonna drag cursor and scrub all the way over to the end of the video. And I'm gonna set up another keyframe. This is the ending keyframe. I'm gonna set that back to 100%. So essentially you're gonna start at 140 and you're gonna zoom out, out and get closer to the original size to 100% here. And one useful tip is that you can actually click on these keyframes here and move them side to side so you can place them exactly where you want them. But in our case, we want it at the very end of the video. And there you go. This is how to create this simple zoom out effect when there's just one clip. So let's try it when we have multiple clips and you want the zoom out effect to span across all of them. All right, so we've got the next project loaded in Final Cut. And as you can see, there are four clips and what we wanna do is span the zoom out effect across all four of these clips like so. Here's what the final video looks like. Okay, so what we're doing here is dropping an adjustment layer over these four clips here. We got the adjustment layer up here and dropped and dragged it down here. And if you don't have the adjustment layers in your program, don't worry. You can easily just go into Google and search for adjustment layer Final Cut Pro and there'll be plenty of free downloads that you can do. And then once you have it set up, you can drop and drag the adjustment layer over these clips and we're gonna apply the same technique that we did for the last video to this adjustment layer. We're gonna start, you can right click, show video animation, and we are, as you can see, are already have them in. So I started off here at about 120 and zoomed all the way out. It looks like I stopped right here at 100. Yep, so I wanted it to stop here so that it could line up with this next clip. Now, if you want to do the opposite and create a zoom in effect, the same concept applies here. You would start off with the first keyframe and you'd actually leave this one at 100. Your ending keyframe, you'd punch in or scale in to 110, 20, 30, 40, whatever you like to create a zoom in effect. It's literally just the opposite of the zoom out effect. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. Till next time, peace.